Hey guys, my name is Mike Vieira. This is my YouTube channel. This channel is about art, drawing, painting, sculpture, still life, uh, setting up a studio, landscape painting, which this one's about. All right, this is my palette. Um, I have it arranged by temperature. Uh, I'll put an annotation right over there. Um, you guys can click on it and watch the video on my palette. I started this painting a while ago, so I'm getting back to it. Um, I need to adjust the uh, sky and also fill in the uh, patio bricks. So here you go. Also guys, don't forget, when you're mixing colors, always start with the light colors and then push your darks into the light colors. Because if not, you're going to be making so much of that color before you hit the right value. So here I'm mixing a purple. I'm using a Lizard and Crimson and French Ultramarine. And then I'm putting a little bit of yellow into it to neutralize that purple because I need kind of that brick color. It's a dead kind of brown color. That's just one of many ways of making this color. By looking at the bricks, I can see a little bit of purple vibrating out, so that's why I chose to go purple and yellow. Also guys, do me a huge favor and subscribe. Uh, next time you see that swan, just click on it and it'll um, bring it to the subscribe page. I think the best and the fastest way to learn how to use color is to bring your paints outside. In 19th century France, a few artists went outside with their paints and started painting the surrounding area, and that was the birth of Impressionism. So do as the Impressionists did, bring your paints outside and enjoy the beautiful days we're having, and get some color, get some vitamin D. Don't forget to bring your bug spray. You guys see the swan? This is most definitely not my best landscape, but um, it wasn't intended to be anything but just fun and playing around. Also, it's really hard to paint water. It's a moving target. You know, I, I don't know, I keep on just layering colors on top of it. So right here to paint the grass, I'm mixing yellow with a little bit of black into it. That's gonna make my green. Um, I'll leave another annotation right there, and that way you can see my how to use black video. Right there, do you see how there's like puddles of colors together and I just push them into each other? Um, that's how to do it, that's how to paint. The sun is making its way closer to the water so now it has the effect that I wanted. Now I can start doing the sky. Oh, nothing's more relaxing than being out on a beautiful day listening to crickets and the water lapping up against the shore. So now I'm trying to get a nice contrast against the light sky. I really love oil paint because you can make those clouds nice and soft. Whoa, oh, that's weird. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, so you can see I'm putting the highlights on the other side. Um, we got a little bit of dark blue in the corner there. The sky I'm using a little bit of cad red light and serves blue. So right here, make sure you have a clean soft brush so you can blend and then always start in the lights and work your way in towards the darks. And of course in the meantime, just keep wiping it off with your jeans to keep the brush clean. <laughs> or a paper towel if you insist. All right guys, if you haven't done this yet, um, click on that swan and subscribe. Um, but in the meantime, you guys have a good week. Be safe, take care of yourself, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week and bye YouTube.